sea. Somebody say the sea. The sea. Uh -huh. Listen, everything in the sea is going to die. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Imagine the fish and the commercial industry that make their living off of the sea. Listen, right now they have barges sitting out parked in the middle of the ocean. Can't go nowhere. And as a result, when you get to Walmart, half the shelves are empty. We're getting a preview of what's coming down the pipe. In the third bowl, bowl number three, it's going to be Pour out upon the fresh water. Say fresh water. Fresh, fresh water. water. Now there's a difference between the sea mm -hmm. yes. and fresh water. See, I went to Galveston a couple of times and I attempted to go swimming. And when I got out there, some water got in my mouth. Yes. And it was salt yes. water. Yes. 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 The sea is going to be dealt with mm -hmm. in judgment number two, the second bowl. But in the third bowl, Fresh water. Yeah. That means no more Ozark. No more DeSante. Yeah. No more Sam's Charts. Yeah. Listen, you can go without food for a minute. Yeah. But when the water dries up, yeah. and I tried to share with the church, when you get thirsty, I mean, show up thirsty, you don't just want something wet and sweet. Yeah. See, when you get your up thirsty, a Coca-Cola ah, won't work. Yeah. A slurpee won't work. A smoothie. Yeah. When you are showing up thirsty, you want some water, but because of this third bowl of judgment that's going to be poured out on the earth, fresh water will be no more. Yeah. You're talking about scary. Can you imagine yeah. having a thirst that you can't satisfy? Yeah. Yeah. In bowl number four, this is going to be poured out upon the sun. Say the sun. Uh -huh. Listen, the, the sun is going to burn and scorch mm -hmm. the earth. Yeah. The non-believers. Uh -huh. The thugs and the thug edge. Uh -huh. The haters. Mm -hmm. Listen. Can you imagine it being temperatures of 105 at night? Yes. That's hot. We're not talking about daytime temperatures. I'm talking about at night. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be so hot that when you go out to your car, the wheels on your tire will melt. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's yeah. hot. That's wow. Do you know what temperature you would have to get up to to melt the rubble on your tire? Just this past summer, the farmers was crying because their crops. No corn. Can you imagine? If there's no corn, there's no crops, there's no food. You're talking about scary. Yeah. Yeah. I would not want to be here. Amen. In bowl number five, this is going to be poured out. This judgment will be poured out upon the beast. Yeah. Say the beast. The beast. It's going to be agonizing darkness. Yes. Yes. Darkness. You can, I'm not talking about just the dog. There's a different kind of dark if you ever been to the country. Yes, sir. Amen. There's a different kind of darkness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No street lights. Yes, I mean, you walking on the dead road, you can't see no curve. Yes, you can't see no south. All you know is you in the dirt. Yes. A couple of years ago, I went to the to the fire and I went into the hundred houses and, and they had it so dark. I couldn't see that microphone, I just... I mean, you can't even see the hands on you. Can you imagine in the end time, it's so dark and you know that evil doers are standing in it. Somebody might have a gun trained on you. Somebody might have a knife coming up behind you. You feel them, but you can't see them. 
The Bible says they'll, they'll, they'll be fighting their own tongue. In the sixth bowl, yeah, yeah. the sixth bowl uh -huh. is going to be poured out upon the river Euphrates. Okay. Uh -huh. The great river of Euphrates is going to dry up. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Because it's going to be the battleground yeah. mm -hmm. for the great battle. Yeah. The battle that's going to end it all. Uh -huh. yeah. Somebody say all again. Amen. When when this battle takes place, Satan and his boys is going to face off with Christ and his group. Amen. I like that. In the, year, the river you pray it. Yeah. Listen, I'm here to tell you that when, the, when, 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 when that battle jumps off, ain't going to be nothing else behind. Yeah. Come on now. Come yeah. on. That's going to be the battle that's going to end yes, the world as you know it. Yeah. Yeah. And then finally, there's one more bowl, bowl number seven. When this bowl is poured out upon the earth, there's going to be a loud voice coming from the throne of God, and it will say, It is done! There is going to be a great earthquake. Come on. Yeah. And John talks about it in the book of Revelation. When this voice makes this announcement, you're going to see mountains yeah. and islands yeah. drop down under the sea. Yeah. Why are you going to run? You think the Twin Towers was a devastating day 9-1-1. Cities like Dallas and Houston, you can go out there now and see downtown, but when this happens, everything will be flat.